Afghan Hound Scientific Classification Kingdom Animalia Phylum Chordata Class Mammalia Order Carnivora Family Canidal Genus Canis Scientific Name Canis Lupus Afghan Hound Conservation Status Not Listed Afghan Hound Locations Asia Afghan Hound Facts Fun fact, these dogs were originally bred for hunting purposes. They are one of the oldest dog breeds in the world, though they are now found in several rescue shelters around the world. They are known to be as fast as ras horses. The fur that covers these hounds keeps them very warm, though they can be shaved as well. Afghan hounds have scent glands that usually produce a musky but not malodorous scent. Distinctive feature Long fur and pointed muzzle Temperament Alert yet reserved and lively Training Moderately easy Diet Omnivore Average litter size 7 Type Hound Common name Afghan hound Slogan First used as a shepherd and hunter Group Dog Afghan hound physical characteristics Color brown, black, white, gold, skin type, hair. Three pros and cons of owning Afghan hounds. Pros 1. Warm personalities. These dogs are social and loving with the members of their human family, making them a sweet family pet. 2. Energetic. If you are looking for a dog breed that is energetic and pushes you to get out of the house, this is the right pup with the constant desire to exercise. They are a great jogging companion. 3. Minimal shedding. If you are someone who is looking for a minimal mess and brushing, these dogs shed surprisingly little for having such a long coat. Cons. 1. Needs a lot of space. These dogs usually do not say comfortable in small spaces and need a spacious area to let their energy out. 2. Strong chase instinct. These dogs have very strong chase instincts which may not be best for small animals or especially excitable children. 3. High Maintenance Grooming Even though they do not shed a lot, it takes a lot of time to groom these dogs because of their long, silky hair. This issue can be remedied by keeping the puppy shaved or short-haired, which some owners will do to keep their dogs cool when the weather gets warmer. Afghan Hound Size and Weight With long and beautiful hair, these dogs have a slim but athletic physique. Female Afghan hounds are usually about 25 inches tall, though the males stand a little taller at 27 inches. Meanwhile, both female and male varieties weigh about 50 to 60 pounds. Height male 27 inches tall. Height female 25 inches tall. Weight male 50 to 60 pounds. Fully grown. Weight female 50 to 60 pounds. Fully grown, common health issues. The beautiful appearance of the Afghan hound can be deceiving, as the breed comes with multiple health concerns that will require regular veterinary care to prevent and treat them. Their long legs and tall build put them at significant risk of hip and elbow dysplasia, evidenced by the misalignment of the bones and the joints that hold them. Issues often arise in the thyroid gland which regulates various metabolic processes. Juvenile cataracts can be another concern for this dog breed. These cataracts cloud the eye, preventing the dog from seeing clearly, eventually leading to blindness. Laryngeal paralysis is common in these dogs. This paralysis makes breathing difficult, though the condition is treatable. Unfortunately, before the treatment begins, it is unclear if the animal will still have a good quality of life. One of the diseases that this breed can permanently face is von Willebrand disease. The condition prevents the blood from clotting since the animal would lack certain proteins that are supposed to manage the clotting. Though the trait is ingrained in the DNA, not all Afghan develop it. The health issues that these dogs face will often depend on their breeding which can be checked against the pedigree database. Overall, some of the common health issues relating to this dog breed include hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, juvenile cataracts, thyroid problems, laryngeal paralysis, von Willebrand disease, Afghan hound temperament. Afghan hounds are very content and easygoing in temperament, though they are always up and running due to their natural hunting desire. Their intelligence is well suited for outdoor activities that require endurance or energy. They also tend to be strong-willed and aloof. While it is usually common for them to stay distanced from strangers, 
They are very warm towards their human families. They can sometimes be timid with new experiences and people but are generally very brave, making them a good breed for protecting the home. To ensure that these dogs become acclimated to other breeds, they need to be introduced to a social circle from early on. How to take care of Afghan hounds Before you finalize your decision to adopt the Afghan hound from a rescue or a breeder, you need to understand the amount of care that goes into them. This breed has many grooming needs, and they need to be fed regularly to thrive and grow. Here are some things that you should know about taking good care of these dogs. Afghan hound food and diet. Afghan dogs do well with a high quality protein based diet. Split the dog food into two meals totaling approximately between 2 and 2.5 cups of high-quality dog food a day to keep your pets satisfied. Some of the human foods these dogs enjoy include chicken and sweet potatoes. However, the food and nutrition requirements of the Afghan hound puppies are different from those of adult verities, as they need more protein in their growth years. Maintenance and Grooming Afghan hounds do not shed much but brushing through their long hair takes a while, so account for the extra time during their grooming session. These sessions should include regular bathing to prevent dander and to keep their fur glossy. Brush through the hair while it is still moist, using a grooming spray to prevent painful tangles. Often, these dogs require some type of oil to nourish the fur. In the same session, owners should keep their pet nails trimmed. If you want to spend less time on their hair, they need to keep their pet short-haired. Training When it comes to training, the strong-willed nature of the Afghan hounds makes them quite stubborn. A firm but positive tone is necessary to convey authority, though owners may still have a hard time with training. They are not known to be obedient and often do not respond to training tricks. Exercise Afghan hounds are highly energetic dogs which means that they need to have regular exercise to keep them happy. Optimally, make sure that your dog gets at least two hours of exercise every day for it to remain fit and healthy. They would need a lot of space to run around. Physical activity is known to positively impact these dogs, helping them to maintain their good behavior. Puppies An Afghan hound puppy needs to be taken care of in a similar way as you would take care of an adult variety. However, they will need to have more protein in their diet than adults, helping them to grow into athletic and strong adults. To ensure that the food is not overwhelming, break their meals into several small meals. Afghan Hounds and Children Afghan Hounds are great with children. They are playful and their energy often makes them compatible to be the perfect playmates with the children. It is said that the best would be to let your puppy grow old with your children to increase as well as maintain their compatibility. However, Afghan Hounds usually have low pain tolerance which could sometimes be a problem with children in the long run. Dogs similar to Afghan Hound Though it is easy to see the history of the Afghan Hound on a pedigree database, some pet owners may want an alternative breed that would work for them. Here are some dogs that are similar to the Afghan. Number 1 Basenji These dogs were also originally bred for hunting purposes. They are energetic and affectionate and are often known as barkless dogs. Number 2 Bloodhound These dogs were originated in France and were used for hunting purposes. They are now also used for tracking people down. Number 3 Greyhound These dogs are known to to be the fastest dog breed. They are racers and make sweet and calm pets especially when they are old. Famous Afghan Hounds Pablo Picasso famously adopted an Afghan hound named Kabul, including him in many famous paintings to show his admiration. These animals are often featured in dog shows, allowing their elegance to be admired. Among the many famous celebrities who have brought this dog into their families are Salvador Dali and Marianne Faithful. Afghan hound frequently asked questions. Are Afghan hounds herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores? Afghan hounds are omnivores, 
meaning they eat both plants and other animals. What kingdom do Afghan hounds belong to? Afghan hounds belong to the kingdom Animalia. What class do Afghan hounds belong to? Afghan hounds belong to the class Mammalia. What phylum do Afghan hounds belong to? Afghan hounds belong to the phylum Chordata. What family do Afghan hounds belong to? Afghan hounds belong to the family Canido. What order do Afghan hounds belong to? Afghan hounds belong to the order Carnivora. What type of covering do Afghan hounds have? Afghan hounds are covered in hair. What genus do Afghan hounds belong to? Afghan hounds belong to the genus Canis. What are some distinguishing features of Afghan hounds? Afghan hounds have long fur and pointed muzzles. How many babies do Afghan hounds have? The average number of babies an Afghan hound has is seven. What is an interesting fact about Afghan hounds? Afghan hounds were first used as shepherds and hunters. What is the scientific name for the Afghan hound? The scientific name for the Afghan hound is Canis lupus. Are Afghan hound good with kids? Yes. Afghan hounds are good with kids and make great playmates around them. How long does Afghan hound live? The lifespan of the Afghan hounds is usually between 12 and 14 years. How much does an Afghan hound cost? The price to adopt an Afghan hound is usually around $1,000 though it is much less from a rescue. Every additional grooming trip costs around $65, but the annual cost will depend on how often you bring your pet to be washed, detangled, and brushed. What age does an Afghan hound get its adult coat? Afghan hounds usually get their adult coat when they are about one year old. Are Afghan hounds good family dogs? Yes. Afghan hounds make great family dogs. They are affectionate and loving. Do Afghan hounds bark? Afghan hounds might bark at strangers coming into the house. However, they typically are gentle and shy. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. Don't forget to click the bell icon. Have a nice day.